Hello students, myself Bhupinder Singh Rawat. Today in this video, I will explain you two topics. First, International Olympic Committee and second, Indian Olympic Association from the second chapter, Olympic Value Education. Now first, topic International Olympic Committee. The headquarters of Olympic Committee is situated at Lausanne, Switzerland. It was formed on 23rd June 1894 by Para Baron D. Covertin. This committee is comprised of 105 active members and 32 only members. Its first president was a Greek named Demetrius Wikilus. This committee once every four years holds summer and winter modern Olympic Games. This committee organized the first summer Olympic Games in 1896 in the Greek city Athens and the first winter Olympic Games were organized in 1924 in Chaponix, France. Till 1992 summer uh, games to help safe space the planning of the two events two years apart from each other. The first Summer Youth Olympic Games were organized in uh, 2010 in Singapore, whereas the first Youth Winter Olympic Games were organized in 2012 in Innsbruck City in Australia. In International Olympic Committee, there are members of different countries. In present, there are 15 members which constitute one president, four vice presidents, and ten executive board members. In simple manner, International Olympic Committee is also known as IOC. It means International Olympic Committee. It is formed on 23rd June 1894. It is non-governmental sports federation who organize multi-sports events. They did not organize single event because it is international body organized only multi sports its official language is first french second english third is hindi host country suppose india is organizing so third language is hindi but french and english is main language the first olympic chairman was greece greek poet Tidius and cobertin was appointed the first Chief Secretary. Now, what are the functions of International Olympic Committee? IOC does different functions which are as follows. The venue where the Olympic Games will be organized is decided by this committee. What it? What is venue? Where the place, the event is going on. That place is venue. Then second, to elect the new members proper functioning of sports program and selection of host city. Got it? Now second, to elect the new members. Now third, the promotion of sports and games. To promote the sport. And fourth, fight against doping. Okay? It also fight against the doping. Fifth, making rules and regulation for the smooth functioning of games got it it may also makes rules and regulation um, fifth to encourage the different organization for the support by social and economical way to the players now it also encourages the organization to support the social things got it now uh, seventh it, it encourages and supports the pro uh, promotion of ethics in sports as well in the education of youth through sports and it also encourages and supports the uh, traditional way of sports in the youth in the today's youth also to then eighth to motivate the culture and education combined along with sports it also uh, motivate the cultures of the sports and players also Fight against political and commercial abuse of sports and athletes. It uh, it's also uh, its function is also to fight against political um, uh, and commercial abuse towards the sports and athletes, encouraging and supporting the promotion of women in sports at all levels. Its main function is to encourage the players and women to participate in the sports. Now, next topic is Indian Olympic Association. Indian Olympic Association was founded in 
1927, Sir Dobji Tata and Dr. Nuren became the founder, president, and secretary general, respectively. Sir Dobji Tata was also the first member of IOC. Its members are chosen once every four years. This committee is comprised of a president, nine vice presidents, six secretaries, one on uh, only uh, treasurer. Apart from this, twelve representatives of national sports committee and the representative of state Olympic committee are also included. After some time, Sir Dorobji Tata resigned from this post. After that, Sri Bhupender Singh Maharaja of Patiala became the president. Indian participated for the first time in 1928 Amsterdam Olympic Games and won gold in hockey. From that time onwards, IOA is working continuously for Olympic movement. IOA is responsible for the participation in Olympic Games and some other games such as Asian Games, Commonwealth Games, etc. All Sports Federation works to help IOA. Now, Indian Olympic Association. Indian Olympic Association established in 1927. Sir Dobji Tamsechi Tata was first founder president of IOA in 1928 and Dr. Nyoren was first secretary general of IOA in 1928 Amazon Olympic Games Netherlands Indian hockey team participated first time and won gold medal now in uh, office bearers it means members in association first president the, then Senior Vice President, 8 Vice Presidents, Secretary General, 6 Joint Secretaries and 10 Executive Council Members. Now, what are the objectives of Indian Olympic Association? The objectives of Indian Olympic Association are mentioned below. Development and promotion of the Olympic movement. Enforcement of all rules and regulations of the International Olympic Committee and Indian Olympic Association to be the official organization in complete form and whole charge of all the matters, matters related to Olympic event. Promotion and encouragement of the physical, moral and cultural education of the young people of the nation so that their character can be developed. Fifth, to suggest the names of selected participants to participate in Olympic Games. Sixth, to organize national and international competition. Then to remove the discrimination of caste, religion, color and area, etc. Then seventh to apply the code of conduct of World Anti-Doping Agency. Then eighth to be a government organization and control the related matters. Now objectives. What are the objectives of IOA? Is to development and promotion of Olympic Games and to tell the new rules and regulations and full control in Olympics and to encourage physical and cultural education to the youth and all the responsibilities like selection, transportation, training, welfare of teams, participating in Olympic Games and there are some, uh, the, the, uh, this is, these are the objectives of Indian Olympic Association. Now functions, there are functions of Indian Olympic Association. First, to promote Olympic movement. Then second, to organize the games at national and international level. Third, to give names and to support the players to participate at international level. To recognize between different federation and Indian government. And fifth, to make a healthy relationship among the different state federations, state Olympic association and national federation and association. Now, what are the functions of Indian Olympic Association? There are some functions of IOA is also there is to com uh, is to complete to follow complete rules of IOC means International Olympic Committee to organize the national games and to send teams for the Olympic Asian and other international 
this is all in this topic thank you take care